So it's been a year since Arkham City. How has the city changed in that time? Um, well, the city kind of like changed quite a lot, you know. Um, we've kind of like moved forward, you know. We kind of like now moved to Gotham City, mm -hmm. something we've always been teasing in the last mm -hmm. couple of games, saying like it's out there, it's out there, look, it's on this cityscape, it's down there, and now we are kind of like going properly down there, you know, and it's not just going to Gotham City, but um, as we kind of like push uh, forward with the Batman experience and, you know, I am Batman kind of like feel, you know, we kind of like bringing something big in there as well in terms of the Batmobile. So we've got a lot, whole lot of new features, things like stealing melee weapons off thugs. Mm -hmm. um, Batman can just steal the weapon as the guy's coming to hit him, mm -hmm. take it, hit him back with it, use it on other thugs. Uh, we've got environmental object finishers, right, where Batman can yeah. slam a guy's head into an electric box or bring down an aircon vent onto the guy's head. What else we got, Tim? We've got um, um, thugs we've got charging. Yeah, thugs charging thugs at you. Charging. We've, got yep. we've got new new abilities for the thugs to, to kind of attack you. So um, you know, and you've got your m new moves that you can counter mm -hmm. their new abilities with. Um, we've got the fear takedown mechanic, which uh, I think you would have seen in the yeah. demo. Um, yeah, so that's a cool new way of entering combat or entering kind of predator situations. Everyone wants to know about how next gen changes the way things look, but tell us how does it change the way things sound, at least in Batman Arkham Knight. Yeah, well, I think uh, perhaps on the music side, the amount of streams we can play, the amount of actual music we can play mm -hmm. at any one time is uh, is huge compared to uh, City and to previous gen. Mm -hmm. um, the amount of processing we can do in real time, so we can alter, we can filter and affect those sounds and that music in real time. Um, uh, that's completely a, a game changer. We can do so much more now. Mm -hmm. um, with that kind of stuff, yeah. And what does that mean for the player? So I, I'm sitting in Gotham. What is the best bone snapping noise? Oh, well, funny enough, you <laughs> speaking of the foley artist, mm -hmm. he used to get a particular type of wood uh, that they would use for barbecues. Okay. And then they banned them in L.A. because I think there were fires. So then he couldn't get that type of wood. Mm -hmm. So uh, um, we have been using all sorts of things. I think that perhaps the most... Recently, we did a pumpkin session. <laughs> so uh, we recorded ripping and tearing of pumpkins. That must be quite cathartic, right? It was good. It was really good. And <laughs> lots of those became the bone breaks. Okay, interesting. Yeah. And what about uh, smacking someone across the face? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting really into this now. Sorry. Yeah, it's getting weird. Um, <laughs> what about it? Sorry. What, what would the sound for smacking someone across the face be? Um... I don't know. Do you just smack someone across the we face? We don't just smack people across the... F well, <laughs> occasionally. <laughs>